Hello, Eagles fans. I'm Steve Thumper Bandy, and it's great to have your company for another installment of Eagles in Isolation. Proudly presented by AGL, the energy within the Eagles. Will Schofield, an unfortunate omission today. Uh, it's a big week for the bloke. He's coming back first week of training. The boys return to the club. He's very busy. I think he's just having his skull polished, to be perfectly honest. But one man who hasn't enjoyed the embrace of returning home to the football club is poor old Eagles midfielder Jack Redden. Now, mate, welcome to the Skype chat. You just seem to love isolation, don't you? Yeah, it's going to be tough coming out of isolation. I've uh, really enjoyed it. Um, back back with the club on Friday, which I'm really excited about. See the boys again. Haven't seen them for a while, so uh, exciting times. What have you been doing, Jack? Why have you got another 14-day quarantine? Yeah, so after round one, once we found out the news, we uh, we went back to Adelaide. Uh, just be around the family. We've got two little ones now, and the extra hands at home is um, very handy. So I thought we'd go back and see the grandparents and hang out with a bit of family we don't often get to do. Excellent work. Now, are you ready for some fan questions, Jack? Can't wait. Yeah, I know. You've been waiting all day for them, mate. We're from David to start things off. Now, how will the team adjust to the Queensland hub, Reddo, regarding weather, training facilities, the different surroundings? What do you picture there? I think the boys will um, adapt pretty quickly. Um, the weather's not too different. Um, winter's over in Queensland to here, I suppose. So weather's not an issue. Um, the boys are excited to see each other again. Pretty sure the family's coming across. So it should be a good little tight-knit group. And um, the boys are just going to have a good crack and um, – Roll with the punches. Now, Janelle wants to know what you're probably most looking forward to about Queensland itself. I know you probably would have had a few hot spots to deal with the boys if in better surroundings, but what are people going to look forward to entering this state, do you think? Um, depending if we're allowed out of the, uh, the hub, but um, I think the, the, weather, the weather is very nice. The beaches are very nice. I don't know if they've got WA covered, but um, the golf resorts. I know a lot of the boys play golf and um, very competitive, all in the same same area as well, so it'll be interesting, the uh, golf tournaments. and um, I think just getting around each other again because it's been a while and spending time with mates and family. Now, you would strike me as a shocking golfer, Jack. Are you more inclined to be hitting the surf instead? Shocking surfer and shocking golfer, but I do both. I, um, I'm a battler, mate. Uh, I'll have a crack at both if we're allowed out, and uh, I enjoy the banner side of it. Well, winning 2018 player of the finals, Redo, you're anything but a battler, mate. We're going to move on to Jeff now. Hard-hitting stuff. How do you like your steak cooked? What sauces, what sides are you going with? Great question, Jeff. Um, I'm a medium rare. I like a good ribeye with a mushroom sauce. Old man used to make that for me as a kid and love the, love the mushroom. Can you replicate it or are you a bit of a battler in the kitchen? I can't get it as good as him. He used to use like a whiskey and burn the whiskey and then add the mushrooms, but I can't quite get it as good as him, but um, I'll get there. Senior Reddo, that is elite. Now we're going to move on while we're in the kitchen. Joanne wants to know, what's your favourite dish to cook? Now I'm going to call Ames after this, and if you're telling Porky Pies, I'm going to call you out. Favourite dish? Um, pretty basic in the kitchen, mate. Um, I made Sun Choy Bao the other day for the family. That was that was a hit. Um, got three ticks. Two of them are under two, but the wife, wife approved. <laughs> now more hard-hitting stuff here from Sonia. What's your favourite movie, Reddo? What can't you switch off if it comes on free-to-air TV? I'm a big fan of Law Abiding Citizen. I love that. Nice uh, feel-good feel good movie in the end of it. And Like a bit of revenge, probably, do you, Reddo? I do. I love the revenge. Uh, I think Sheppy. Sheppy's a big notebook fan. Um, yeah, it's wide. The, the boys vary quite a bit with their favourite movies, but, yeah, I'm pretty sure Sheppy's big on the notebook. I'd have no doubt Law Abiding Citizen would be right up there in comparison to those other stinkers. Now, final questions from Ben. This is a ripping question, mind you. Who are the toughest three players in the AFL to tackle? You would know, Reddo, a tackling machine. Um, of recent years, I'd say Ben Cunnington from Kangaroos. I think he's a really good player and he's quite solid. Uh, it's hard to bring down. I'd say Josh Kennedy in his peak from Sydney. He was a beast. Um, Preto when he played. He doesn't play anymore, so I'll give you one more. Uh, maybe a Rory Sloan from Crows. Yeah, three pretty solid choices there, Reddo. Good answers and a great Eagles in isolation chat. Thanks for your company. Proudly presented by AGL, the energy within the Eagles. Now, Reddo, 
Look, I know you say you're busy, two kids, you know, you're locked up looking after them. But honestly, what are you doing? How are you honestly spending this time? I'm scraping the barrel, mate. I, um, I cleaned the gutters today. Um, tough job, but yeah, I'm two, I'm two days out, six hours and uh, 50 seconds. So I'm not counting down or anything, but um, yeah, run out of list to do. Now let's pretend that you're going to be shacked up with a teammate. Which teammate would you want to have as your company on the hub in Queensland? And who are you hoping doesn't get the red O spare key? Oh, tough question. Um, I'd probably say someone like Liam Duggan to room with. He's a gentle soul. He's a good man. Uh, I think he'd be clean, nice and tidy. Probably least, probably a Nick Nat Nui. He's not clean. I, my locker's next to him. He's a pig. Um, don't want a bar of it. Well, he doesn't sleep in his bed. He likes to sleep on the floor. So maybe you can push the two together and make the and, best of a bad and, scenario, mate. Yeah, and he's, his nose is quite crooked now and he snores like a trumpet. So I don't really want to room with Nick. Fingers crossed you avoid that one. Hey, Redo, thanks for tuning in. And to all the fans at home, happy to hear from you, mate. Stay well. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Thanks for having me.